Hi everyone, uh, firstly I want to thank you for joining and watching the film and supporting it and being part of this amazing panel. I thought the film was amazing, not not obviously because the history is obviously distressing but I mean like just in terms of how it was narrated. It was definitely an emotive and you know thought-provoking journey into the history of Africa. I like the fact that it talked about neocolonialism as a thing so it wasn't necessarily just talking about the past it also linked into things and the manifestations of colonialism today. I think the film was really good because it showed us um, what the country's like today I mean it's, it's not really changed right it's still terrible and these are still the legacies that we have to, to live through. I thought it was um, a really amazing um, film for that reason. I would say I enjoyed the film but I guess that's not really the point and like it was deeply disturbing. And of course it was um, it's not nice to hear but I think it's necessary and important. Some of us have a picture of the general like the general it was bad but when you actually look at the detail uh, it's, the devil is in the detail let's put it that way and so actually seeing the seeing just how brutal it was um, it's still shocking, it's still, it's still shocking even when you know uh, so much, but we need those stories because there is such a bad understanding of what empire is. When 60% of the British public think that the British empire was a force for good, it just tells you just how bad their understanding of empire is because that, that film, you could have gone anywhere, literally on the African continent, and you would, have had the, you would have had the same story. So what do you think about the removal of the statues or should we keep them, should we remove them? Uh, I think... And also this kind of leads in terms of immortalizing people in history what you've just said about the curriculum right and why do we need to know that if i said divorce beheaded died divorce beheaded survived i'm sure that 80 percent in this chat would know what i was talking about because in school we're all taught about henry the eighth and how he how he got rid of all all of his wives <laughs> in subsequent why do i need to know that i do say if i think this is where i would say if if you really do want a an anti-racist public face you shouldn't have slave traders and colonists and murderers they just don't do it right take them down. i think that people need to know the history of the world and once you know the history of the world you can come to your own conclusions so black people can look at Cecil Rhodes they can look at Edward Colson and come to their own conclusion however we are on UK soil we can't deny that we're on UK soil the UK I guess uh, revered these people to some degree um, so let them be you know I don't agree with what they've done 100% I do not agree with what they've done However, my children may need to understand the history of these people. Statues aren't history, so I think that's just the first thing to say. Like The point of statues is to celebrate and memorialise particular things. You don't learn anything from going to a statue, and that's not the purpose of a statue. And if you look at why these statues are put up, it's, it's not to maintain history. I can take my children and say, look, this guy did X. They may not tell you that he done X, but this is the guy that done X. But the fact of the matter is, you aren't preserving history by having a statue of someone dressed as a Roman emperor, as is the statue of Christopher Codrington in All Souls College. You're not preserving history. What you're doing is you're you're putting up a monument to this person because he's given you a lot of money. And, and having history means putting people in textbooks. Protest to remove statues is fundamental because it creates a shift in um, consciousness for some people. It also provides like more attention on the issue. You make these campaigns it's not really about the statue at all. It's actually about trying to draw attention to the to the big issues. Right? I think there should be an addendum put next to the statues that actually talk about what these people actually did, or we put them in museums and we put an addendum so that people know it's not this, it's also this. So there is that both sides, whether we get that or not. A museum is the perfect place to have a historical thing and contextualize it where people can go and they can go, oh cool, what's this? How does it work? If you're walking down the street and you look at something, you just see a big statue or anything. You don't know where the plaque is. If it's next to the thing and the statue is two feet up, two stories up in the air, then you're not going to read it.